Hey guys, it's Malibu. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a lovely day, enjoying the Christmas period. Or is it too early for that? I feel Christmassy. Today, as you can see from the title, I want to talk about some misconceptions about trans people, particularly in trans dating. I've had a few comments on my channel that I've been like, oh, you just don't get it. So I want to clarify a few things once more. And yeah, maybe this will be helpful to some people. Maybe it won't be. Hopefully you enjoy the video either way, but let's get on with it. So the first misconception that I've got is that trans people are deceptive about their identity. Not true. I can see how this conclusion is easily jumped to. And this one was particularly prominent on my video where I was talking about when guys didn't know that I was trans. And that was due to a lot of things, but never due to the fact that I was trying to be deceptive. And I don't think in general that any trans person wants to be deceptive of who they are as a person. There are so many of us online talking about trans issues, openly talking about their lives and the things that they go through. I think it's very rare that you would meet somebody who's trans and they wouldn't tell you that they were trans. Do you know what I mean? Nobody's trying to be deceptive, especially when it comes to dating. The last thing you want is any confusion. That's just awkward for us as well as for you. I promise you nobody wants that. Sometimes, as I mentioned in the video, I was just talking about if you're on a night out, you might be drunk, just out on a night out, you're not always going to remember to have those conversations. And so sometimes there can be confusion. However, I would say 99% of the time those conversations are had and, you know, it is an important thing to remember to do. And on dating apps and everything, of course, people are gonna say if they're trans. It's not something that people are trying to hide. Number two, dating a trans person is different from dating a cis person. Now, in a way, of course, yes, it's a little bit different, but like in the same way that it's different if you date a writer or you date a doctor, two very different professions, and that's gonna impact your relationship. Everything about a person is gonna impact their relationship in a way. However, is it really that different from dating a cis person? Not really. I don't think that there's any major requirements in dating a trans person. And no, you shouldn't treat us any differently to anybody. Number three, being attracted to a trans person makes someone gay. It's obviously an easy mistake to make when you're talking about pre-op trans people. I can obviously understand why there's some confusion there, but essentially think about it, you know, is a gay man attracted to this or is a straight man attracted to this? I know there's going to be people that disagree with that, but I've said it before, I don't think you're attracted to sexual organs, you're attracted to a person. Obviously you have to be comfortable with what they've got going on down below, but ultimately if you're a man and you're attracted to a trans woman, you're straight or you're a chaser as they say. That's rude though. I don't like that term. I find that offensive to those guys out there. Another misconception is that trans people only date other people from the LGBT community. Of course, some people do, but I think it goes without saying that that's obviously not true. I have only ever been in relationship with cis men. Another one is that dating a trans person makes you part of the LGBT community. Again, though, this comes down to the fact that if you're a cis man dating a trans woman, you are still straight unless, you know, you're into other things as well. So where on the LGBT scale are you, please? The math isn't my thing. I think obviously if you date a trans person that makes you an ally, but does it make you part of the LGBT community? No, I don't think so. Number seven, some people might think that trans people can't have normal relationships at all due to body dysmorphia and things like hormones stopping things working. That's not true at all. Although there can be complications with things like surgery and even things like hormones can change your libido and stuff, there's no reason why you can't have a healthy sex life and normal relationship with somebody. And yes, there are plenty of trans people out there in relationships. I think anybody who wants to be in a relationship, there's somebody out there for you. Number eight, this is another one that people have kind of commented on on my channel. You have to understand everything about a trans person to date a trans person. I mean, you're gonna learn as you go, but no, I don't believe this is true. And yes, when I'm going on making videos, reeling off these lists, talking about things, I'm really just doing it for the sake of my YouTube viewers and you know it's educational it's not like I sit listing these things off to my boyfriend like you have to know this you have to do this you have to do that we just live our lives and you know sometimes he gets things wrong and that's fine like 
it is what it is. Yeah, you don't have to know everything. You don't even have to know that much. You just have to like them as a person and get on with them and want to date them. Everything else just comes naturally, I don't know. Number nine, trans people are difficult to date because of social stigma. I think perhaps there's some truth to this one and that depends on really who you are as a person, whether you feel like you are comfortable just embracing being with a trans person. And I think that's what it comes down to. If you are going to be worried about the social stigmas, dating a trans person is probably not for you. You know, hooking up with trans people, that's a different story. There's plenty of people that do that on the DL. But yeah, openly dating someone, it probably does take a bit of not caring. I mean, the reality is, I don't think my boyfriend has faced any stigma in the three years that we've been together for dating me. Most people don't care, do you know what I mean? But I think if you care inside yourself, then that's what you're gonna be worrying about the whole time. The thing is, I do think there's stigma out there, but I, people just don't talk about it. If they don't agree with the life you're living, they aren't even gonna say it to you nine times out of 10. They're just gonna carry on with their lives and you're gonna carry on with your life. You're probably not even ever gonna know that they don't like you. But you've just got to be comfortable in yourself doing what you're doing and living the life that you're living. But really, what are you so afraid of? What do you think is gonna happen? Because the answer is probably nothing. And the final one, I saw this one earlier and it did make me laugh, so I'm gonna include it. Trans people are desperate and will date anyone. Ooh, the shade. This is a stupid thing to say, really. I mean, personally, when I was single, I was quite happy being single. I was, I really wasn't even looking to get into a relationship. It just sort of happened. And if I do ever end up single again, I assure you that finding somebody else to date would not be my priority. I don't even know what to say on this one. Some people are desperate. Some people are trans. I don't think there's a correlation there though, guys. Anyway, guys, that is the end of my list. I mean, what can I say? Dating anybody is hard, but is dating a trans person that hard? No, I don't fucking think it is. My boyfriend would tell you that I'm hard work, but it's got nothing to do with the fact that I'm trans. But if you're out there looking for a trans person today, be respectful, be kind, and just have fun. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new here, please do subscribe. And if you've watched this far, give it a like. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.